What's up everybody, welcome back to The Art of Crypto, the birthplace of absolutely legendary gains. In this video, we will be taking a look at GRT USDT. But before I go into it, now if you watch the Engine Coin price prediction video that I posted yesterday, at the moment you would be up about 20% from what I told you in the video. Now, besides that, if you also watched the video, you would have known that I called the rejection at the 2.55 level and look what happened over here. 2.55 level instantly gets rejected. If you would have taken this short, it would have been a nice 4 to 5% profits, which I did, in fact. Not only that, but two days ago, I was telling you guys to look for a double bottom for most coins, and this is what I was looking for. Yesterday, this is exactly what we got. 20 to 30% pumps on most coins if you were paying attention. So if you're not following me on Twitter at underscore the art of crypto, you do not know what you're missing out. I'm calling profitable trading setups daily and so far we have been doing well. 45% on TRB in two days, 37% on QDM in five days, 46% on AXS in four days, 44% on LTO in 11 days. So if you haven't yet, drop me a follow on Twitter because you don't know what you're missing out. Now, I apologize for that extended intro, it is not usually my style, but now we can dive right into GRT. So right off the bat, if you take a look here, on GRT we have sort of a descending triangle forming at the moment, or if you want to look at it another way, you could also see sort of a falling wedge like this one. But nonetheless, this bottom trend line here has been holding as pretty good support for the last two months. So at the moment, if you're looking to get into GRT, the bottom of the trend line would definitely be a golden, golden entry. Especially if you see on the 4 hourly, market cipher has formed a double bottom. In fact, we have bullish divergence where if you take a look here, the price here is lower than the price here. However, the wave was shorter than this wave, which means this is bullish divergence. Usually what ends up happening on bullish divergence is it goes up, but we might might, I'm not saying it will happen, we might come down to form a little higher low before ultimately breaking out of this massive pattern that it has been forming for over two months, which could potentially bring us all the way up to a 3.4, 3.5 GRT if it breaks out from this pattern as the measured move for the falling wedge breakout. And the method by which I got this breakout target is by going from the top to the bottom of the falling wedge, see right here, and I just move it to assuming that the breakout occurs here or here, we will go all the way up to a 3.5 GRT. So if you're looking to get into GRT right now, here is what I would look for. Firstly, as I previously mentioned before, I am looking for a higher low formation from this right here, even though at the moment it looks like it's coming down but I would definitely look for a higher low or even a double bottom before ultimately heading higher. Besides that, I would say that this short little red candle on the 4 hour lead right now is no reason for concern because if we just zoom in to a lower time frame, say the 1 hour lead, we can actually see that the money flow has been progressively slowly but surely getting into the green which means this is what I'm expecting to happen. See, at the moment it's coming down, but what's gonna do, it's gonna form a really tight green trigger wave and we are off to the races straight up to about 1.77 because not only is the 1.77 a 200 EMA on the one hourly, but it is also a 200 EMA level of the four hourly right here. And if you are a long time subscriber to the channel, I always say that the 200 EMA tends to act as a very good dynamic support slash resistance in any trend, which means when the price reaches it, it will act as resistance, which is what I'm expecting it to do. So the price is going to look something like this. So at the moment on the one hour, we are coming down to form a trigger wave. And when the trigger wave forms, we are going to come all the way up here, get a short little rejection and ultimately heading higher. And once we do head higher, we want to see a retest of the 200 EMA and then ultimately breaking out of this pattern. Now, this would be the ideal scenario, but I'm not saying that it will definitely happen. However, things are definitely looking good for GRT because we have already formed two anchor waves, deep anchor waves on the four hourly, which means that the only way to go is up. So even if it drops here, it's not likely to form a deeper anchor wave than both of these because they are already pretty deep. So what's going to end up happening is we have a short little tiny, we might not even form a red trigger wave here because it's the four hourly, but what's going to end up happening is it's going to go this way 
and then it's going to come down a bit and then it's going to go this way and then it's going to come down and boom and boom and boom and boom grt to the moon baby so now that i have covered why grt is looking so amazing and the entries that you should be looking for which just to recap is a higher low formation here or one hour trigger wave on market cipher if you're using market cipher slash if the price really does come back down to the bottom of the trend line at the 1.43 1.44 level i would aggressively buy in because your stop loss would be really really tight as long as it breaks below the trend line you know that your trade has been invalidated so i would just set my stop loss one average true range below this swing low right here so that would be about 1.2 1.22 which leaves a very good risk to reward ratio as long as you're not playing with overly large position sizes but nonetheless i would say that the retest of this trend line would be absolutely the best but otherwise a high low formation is brilliant too because it'll bring us all the way up to 1.75 to 1.77 level and now that we know our entries let's find out about where to take profits so what i usually do is i try to identify the most significant levels of support and resistance and to me that will look something like this now what do i mean by really strong support now what do i mean by significant levels of support and resistance it's basically just areas where price tended to react to that level many many times so for example on this level one two three four five six on this level you see the price try to break above one two three four five six seven eight on this level you see the price try to break below one two three four five six blah blah blah, blah. so what i want you to do is you go onto your own chart and try to identify where the price tended to react to whether it got rejected or supported. So at the moment, you can actually see that this level right here is acting as resistance, which is why the price is coming down for a little bit because that's where the sellers are. So if you know your support and resistance levels, you can set profit taking targets accordingly so that you can take other people's money before they take it away from you. But nonetheless, even though it's getting rejected, I am not worried the slightest bit because as you can see, money flow is going from the red into the green and it's just starting to go into the green. At most, even if we do come down, we will form a double bottom here or we will form a higher low and a trigger wave and we are off to the races. So if I was you, I would definitely set profit taking targets at about this level, this level, this level right here. So what I usually do and what I advise people to do is when there are profits, there is no harm in taking it. So maybe you take 25 here, 25 here, 25 here and maybe 25 here. And if you see that it doesn't get rejected by this all time high right here, if price does not get rejected here, but in fact it breaks above and comes down for a retest, then that will be your second entry right there. It's not about going into a coin and holding it, hoping for 100% gains. And if it doesn't happen, you will not pull out. In trading, we're trying to take other people's money. So when there's profits on the table, take it. You can always re enter into a trade if necessary. But even though I say to take profit, at the 1.87 level, I would still immediately look for the 200 EMA right here, this purple line to act as immediate resistance. Only if the price breaks above the 200 EMA, here's what's going to, here's what's likely going to happen. So price breaks above the 200 EMA, it'll come up to this level right here, get rejected and then find support on the 200 EMA because, because previous resistance becomes future support. And if you were looking for a, another entry on GRT, this would be another golden entry because you can set your stop loss right below the 200 EMA. So from this point, we will just shoot upwards all the way here to the 2.16 level. Yeah, I'm calling it. And for your stop loss, you can just set it right below the 200 EMA because if the price breaks below the 200 EMA and closes below the 200 EMA, you know your trade has been invalidated. Now, if you're enjoying the video so far, it would help me so immensely if you could just pump the like button to the moon. It's a small gesture, but it helps a lot. So now that I've covered the technicals, I want to get into some fundamentals because there's another reason why I'm posting this GRT video and why I believe that it could absolutely blow up by the end of April. So if you go over to coin market calendar and you search up GRT, you can see that there is a pretty big event. See, the first subgraphs will begin migrating to the main net before 30th of April. So when this news gets posted, you best believe that people are going to be getting into GRT. But over here at this channel, we are grand strategists. We do not FOMO. So we do not want to be the people getting in at 2.15 or 2.5. We want to be the ones that get in at these levels right here. So that when it pumps, other people might only get 50% gains, but we will get 150% gains. And 
I just want you to know that right now we are in a market and in a market we are trying to take other people's money. So doesn't it make sense that in order to take other people's money, you have to be better than them? So if you want to take a little bit of time to invest in yourself, I want you to go watch my learn to trade crypto playlist. It will save you so much heartache and lost money in the long run that you won't even believe it. And with that said, may the gains be with you, my friend. Peace.